Boom! Batman! Hey guys, Jared here. It's getting late, I'm gonna be going to bed soon. But, I do have some fun stuff for you. So, in Justice League, uh, Season 2, Episode 13, the cartoon, they, one of the bad guys mentions, uh, Dr. Frederick Wortham and his book. Now, for those of you who, who aren't in the know, Frederick Wortham is basically the dude who tried to destroy comic books and created the comic book censorship, or, uh, uh, the committee. Care of a, I, I know, I know the name right now. I can see the stupid little logo. It's like this weird C inside of an A. It's on a crap load of my comics, especially older ones. And it wasn't really repealed until the 90s. The first one to do it was Stan Lee with one of his issues of Spider-Man. And he was like, and that's why Mad Magazine is a magazine instead of its original, which was Mad Comics, because they didn't want to follow the censorship thing. They were like, screw you guys, we're now a magazine. So I always thought that was kind of a little funny thing. But in Justice League, they mention him, and I thought that was a little clever nod. Like, there's a lot of things you don't catch as a children, but if you're a hardcore fan of something... And, you know, you're re-watching it, and you catch all these little things. And I was like, you know, that's that's pretty clever. And that's actually really, really relevant. So, again, Justice League is still one of my favorite cartoons. It especially has a lot of Easter eggs. And Batman is pretty smooth. Like, there's one episode, he gets caught. And he manages to talk one of, the, like, this furry cat lady into making out with them, it was just like, Batman's just being Batman, okay then, I just, uh, I, I love how Batman's smooth as shit, like, and then there's this comic one of my friends put up on Marvel vs, or, uh, he, he, uh, put up a picture, and it was, uh, uh, Superman's like, Batman, did you do, did you have sex with Lois Lane, and Batman just looks at him and says, nope, but Bruce Wayne did, and they just drinks his coffee, <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, oh, so great, so great, Batman is probably the greatest superhero, because he's not a superhero, he doesn't have fancy powers, he just has gadgets and awesomeness, and while well, you may say he, he is the most brilliant mind, I think, of the entire universe at that point like his strategic brain is amazing i definitely like that he knows how to take down all of the justice league like because batman is freaking awesome anyways before my fanboying ends uh just rewatch some shows i definitely like the justice league thing the, uh, comic, I'm a huge comic book nerd, so if you all know that, and I, I hate when I have brain farts, but it's really late, and I'm gonna have to work tomorrow, and I don't look, I, I freaking work crappy landscaping, but, you know, it's a paycheck, it, it's hard work, but it's worth it. Uh, yeah, so, check it out, your nerdism is nerdism, and... Yeah. See y'all's on the flip side.